Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, January 10, 1864, Private H. H. Bennett of the 12th Wisconsin noted in his diary that two ladies were in attendance at the general review of Union troops at Fort McPherson, the federal fortification then under construction in Natchez. The two women, members of the Jenkins family of Elgin Plantation, were there to identify three soldiers who had robbed the family of jewelry and silver the night before. One of the women was no doubt Alice Jenkins, the oldest of the four orphaned Jen Jenkins children. In later court-martial testimony, Alice testified that the three men had entered the house and robbed the family of 147 pieces of silver, some jewelry, and two bunches of keys. The three soldiers, members of Company G of the 12th Wisconsin, were convicted and sentenced to prison. The ringleader, Captain John Feltis, was sentenced to 10 years in prison and ordered to wear a ball and chain on his leg for two months out of the year. Private Parks and Saltis were sentenced to 20 years hard labor in a prison in Alton, Illinois. The sentences of all men were commuted in 1866, and the men were freed from prison. In a show of forgiveness, members of the Jenkins family appear to have supported Captain Feltis's application to reverse his dishonorable discharge so that the former Union soldier might receive a pension in his old age. I'm Ruth Ellen Calhoun, and my husband and I bought Elgin Plantation in 1975 and restored it. This has been your Natchez History Minute.